Good evening. France is in a state of emergency tonight after a terror attack shattered national celebrations for Bastille Day. It was a soft target. The impact was deadly, with the truck ploughing into crowds watching fireworks in the coastal tourist town of Nice. 13 hours on, here's the situation tonight. We know that at least 84 people were killed when the truck drove through the crowd. Dozens more were injured. 18 are in a critical condition in hospital. It's been confirmed at least three Australians were injured in the attack. The driver was eventually shot and killed by police. Mark Burrows begins our coverage. A terrible white weapon. The truck built up speed, collecting its first victims, then bulldozed into the packed crowd. <laughs> leaving a trail of dead and injured. Terror attack! There's a terror attack! Down! Down! Really? Down! And panic on the beachfront of France's favourite southern city. Among those caught in the attack, many Australians, travellers and tour groups. One of the Australians who was injured is 18-year-old Bronte Stunts from Sydney's North Shore. She is not seriously hurt. Her friend Alex Mahoney saw what happened. All of a sudden I started hearing a voice screaming and so I turned around and I just did a of people running and then I see I saw a truck push through the crowd of people. Like 50, 100 metres behind me and quickly coming towards me. So we all just ran towards the beach. It had taken a certain bravery across this country for crowds to gather and celebrate given the 18 months of terror France has endured. And as some must surely have feared, the big crowds watching fireworks enjoying the summer night proved an irresistible target for terror. The truck driver simply accelerated onto the seaside boulevard. Smashing through a barricade, one man helpless, turning bewildered, then seeming to shout out a warning. Too late for the packed crowd on the footpaths. A man on a motorcycle, perhaps a security official, tries to intercept the truck. He falls off. The first courageous instinct of some is to run after the truck. Then police open fire. <laughs> but the vehicle simply ploughed on. And it was not just one mad rush. It stretched almost two kilometres between the first victim, a Muslim woman, along the car and pedestrian strip known as the Promenade de Anglais, where a barrage of shots peppered the bodywork and windscreen, finally killing the driver. French media has reported he was a 31-year-old Tunisian living in Nice. There were strange and frightening contrasts. As thousands ran for their lives, others thought the gunshots were fireworks. And as the crowd streamed past, balcony diners peered down, unsure what was happening. The human cost was strewn in the vehicle's path for hundreds of metres. Friends, family crouched in anguish beside the bodies of those killed or hurt. The brute force of the impact fatal for many, causing shocking injuries for scores of others. There was no discrimination among the victims, the old, the young and the very young. In the immediate minutes that followed, ambulances and police flooded the area to be confronted by the bloody aftermath, gathering up those in pain, bandaging, then ferrying them to hospitals, while military units spread through key points across the city. <laughs> Amid all the bloodshed, the now immobile truck remained a menace. Police surrounding it, pistols aimed, could see guns and grenades in the cab, but fearing the cargo space could have been packed with explosives or booby-trapped. Other officers, strained in their voices, ordered people to get out of the area. <laughs> Only a few hours earlier, President Francois Hollande had indicated he was hopeful of lifting France's extreme terrorist alert within coming weeks. The country is still wounded from the Charlie Hebdo 
and Christmas attacks in Paris. And France's proudest day with its grand Bastille Day parade in the capital had seemed a moment of healing and resolve. An Australian army unit marched, commemorating the centenary of the worst battles on the Western Front. The most wishful thinking in France that surely they have suffered enough from the torment of terrorism has now been dashed. Rather than easing, the president has extended the terror alert and ordered tougher security at border entry points. Once again, we have seen extreme violence and it is obvious that we must do everything to fight against this terrorism. A national day of pride and pleasure destroyed. July 14, Bastille Day, now destined to be remembered for a new and terrible moment of bloodshed. Mark Burroughs, Nine News.